the first time going live on your channel. Cool. What's going on, folks? Uh, we're building a boathouse. I mean, a houseboat. I hope I put that right in the description. I'll change it if not. <laughs> what, boathouse? <laughs> yeah, houseboat. Yeah, houseboat. I'll probably put boathouse. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Well, it's both. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a boat, and it's going to have a it's house a, on top yeah, of it. It's going to be a place for us to stay. So, yeah, so when we go catch catfish. Ooh, Lord, where did I even start? Instead of getting a hotel or whatever, we can stay on our houseboat. We, we can cook catfish right on the front porch. Yeah. Cook catfish right on the front porch, have a, a generator running in the back right there with a air conditioning inside. It's going to be nice. Yeah, we just got a big old load of You got to take materials. a shower, you know, take a bath in the lake. Yeah. And then... Uh, but that's good enough. I mean, you know, just bar soap. And that last last hole we checked to catch catfish, we just washed down real good. Jump the or boat. just jump off the boat when it's dark, so you know, and you can still wear your swimsuit. And all yeah, that. that's true. That's true. But anyway, all right, where do we start, huh? Lord. Okay, I'm gonna. All right. First thing, we ordered a lot of this stuff that nor I would normally cut on the sawmill. I ordered it. Like the siding, because I got three eight siding. I'm trying to keep it lightweight. This used to be a. Uh, this used to be two pontoon boats. Yeah, this was, actually. Yeah, this was an 18 and a 24 foot pontoon boat. I put them. We put them both together and made one. We got four pontoons under one boat now. Yeah, we used to bow fish off of it. Um, use it to put out lime and boxes and stuff. It's a workhorse boat, yeah. pretty much. It changed. ain't easily sunk because it's got four pontoons under it. Yeah, we did the math on it yesterday, and I think it would take thirteen thousand. If I'm not, we're not figuring it wrong. I don't know. It sounds crazy, but thirteen thousand to sink it. Yeah, we're gonna try to keep it under that. You know, maybe about four or five hundred pounds anyway. <laughs> yeah. No, but we've. Uh, I bought a lot of the materials, or we or we ordered a lot of them, oh, because I wanted to go with the thin side. We we're trying to keep this thing as light a weight as we can. Yeah, because we're gonna be hauling it. Yeah, I didn't. Well, and I just wanted it, you know, for flotation too. I want, you know, we just wanted it as light as we can get it. Yeah. And uh, I went with two by twos on the wall instead of a full two by four, and a lot of that's because of the thickness of the jam of the windows that we had off of Hannah's. Yeah, when we built my tiny house, we bought a travel trailer and the travel trailer was old and falling in half rotten yeah. but we took the we saved all the windows and doors and stuff out of it because they're still good when we tore it off the frame to build my house on but we still have all of them the jams are just narrow well they're built for two by two walls yeah for travel trailer four. stuff yeah i mean it's lightweight it's trying to keep the, the weight down so y'all can see what i'm saying i'm we're gonna have to make the Making the walls, you know, we're turning the two befores the other way, but I just went ahead and ripped them on the uh, table saw. Y'all can see right there. Yeah. You know, to try to keep the weight down. But uh, anyway, the trim itself on the inside, I need to get a piece of that. And we're using a lot of treated stuff too, because of course it's a houseboat. Some stuff's gonna get wet. Ooh. Yeah, the bottom, the bottom rat like seal. The, trim. the bottom rat seal's gonna be treated. Because you're going to get water in there on the yeah. floor, you know, when you're coming in and out. But see, this is the reason. This will be the trim on the inside. So it actually, see, it's going to screw down inside. So if I had a super thick wall, you know, a two before wall, I'd be out here like this. You know, you'd be looking at that gap. Yeah. So that's the reason we're going with the two by two walls. Save money. We're trying to make this as economical as possible yeah we definitely trying to save money that's why always, we're, yeah, i mean you, we're super super tight so. yeah that's why we're so glad we still got the windows and doors off that travel yeah. trailer that's when that whole sanford and son thing comes in handy you know yeah you save keep, everything save everything as soon as you money. throw something away you're gonna need it gonna need it well we're going with three eighths on the side to keep it lightweight i'm gonna try to go from uh make it even stronger I'm going to go all the way down on this side piece, which the uh, floor joists actually slip inside this channel right here. And I want to screw the siding to this channel right here, and it'll go from there to the stud wall all the way to the roof. So that's going to make it even that much more stronger. Because if we just attached it to the treated plywood on the floor that with screws, you know, we're going to use screws on all of it too. But yeah. it could possibly, going down the road, if you got a big enough wind gust, it could peel the whole thing off, take plywood and all, but I don't think it's going to take the joist uh, Cause, two. Yeah, know? even if it, we're building it light, 
He's building it strong. Yeah, well, it's gonna be strong because I mean I don't wanna I don't have to worry about it. You yeah. Know? I'm gonna anchor it to these floor joists with the side, and I'm gonna actually screw the side to this piece of channel right here, which the the floor joists actually go inside of it, and they're actually bolted to the pontoons. So if the pontoons leave the trailer, I mean if the wall leaves, it's taking it's taking floor system, pontoons, and all. So we're gonna have to just strap it down really good because we're gonna make. We're gonna have a four foot porch on the front and it's gonna have a ceiling in it, you know, a roof over it too. So when you're going down the road, you're sandwiching that air in between, you know, that roof and that, that front flat. Yeah, cause we're gonna have a four foot porch on the front. Yeah. And then the living quarters, when it's just like actual a cup, house. It's gonna be like that. It's gonna be, that air is gonna be sandwiching in there pretty bad. So it's gonna have a lot of pressure up. Yeah. And pushing against it. And for those of y'all that are coming in late, this whole thing is eight by 24, 24 <coughs> foot pontoon boat. It's the same size as my house, actually. Yeah. We're gonna make it all uh, 16, 16 by eight is gonna be the actual inside. Yeah. Oh, uh, we're gonna put bunk beds. We, we, we plan that by ear. Yeah, but, uh, no plans or nothing. We're yeah, just, we don't have any plans on any of this. We're just this was with originally it. A, uh, a travel trailer frame, and, and we just, you know, converted it into a, a pontoon trailer. Look, yeah, the, um, was, so a dude the boat trailer. Some money. Yeah, a dude owed me some money. So uh, instead of him giving me the money, he just gave me this trailer, and then I just converted it into that. But you see the extra pontoons. Oh, I think that was actually yeah, it started a out just with fast two. tracker, 18-footer in the middle. Yeah, the two pontoons in the yeah, middle. Yeah, and then the, I forget, this was a low, I think, on the outside. So uh, I think the boat is registered low because it's 24 foot, but the, it's got uh, an extra eight, couple of 18-foot pontoons in the middle that come off a of bass tracker. Yeah. But they all fit up, and they fit up in front of the motor, so you're and not we bought, getting air around the motor, you know, so it, it worked out really Yeah, and good. we bought these pontoon boats cheap, and they yeah, weren't really in cheap. the best condition anyways. Like, yeah. this, the 24-foot one was already just a flat pontoon, and we have tore. We had, like, a little console box thing in it where we stored all our life jackets and our noodling gloves and stuff, yeah. and we had the... Rails you know, up for the lights. Yeah, and the steering column and all. Yeah. We used to bow fish off of this thing a lot, though. You could have a lot of people on this boat, and it would float them good. Oh, yeah. And it would float in real shallow water, too. Yeah. But Read some of y'all's comments. Uh, Watching from Canada. No kidding. Yeah, that's cool as mess. I bet it's cooler up there than it is here. Somebody said so the guy wouldn't pay up. You took his trailer? No, he gave us the trailer. <laughs> we ain't gonna go steal somebody's trailer. No, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you gotta take something. You know, you gotta, you gotta do. He something. owed, so instead of paying money, he said, "I'll just give you this yeah, travel yeah, so trailer we just frame." Took the, we just took the. Uh, we traded. Yeah. Barter. That's what you call it, barter. And he just gave me the trailer. It was a joke. It was a good joke. But it's gonna turn cool. out good. Cool. Jump said, "Watching from Western Australia." That's so cool. It's got to be. It's nighttime over there, isn't it? Hello from London. That's so cool. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. It's Texas. 90 degrees here. Yeah. And my allergies is kicking this morning. Of course, Canada used Celsius. We can't use... They, we use Fahrenheit <coughs> down here. I don't know what it would be. <coughs> Celsius. Oh. Temperature. We're fixing to get this thing started, and we're going to do a whole YouTube. I think she'll have... She'll I'll have do... updates. He'll have, like, the whole process because yeah. he's got his tripod set up right there that he'll have it rolling on. Yeah, we'll put it on high speed and low drag, and we'll get... Uh... The whole process will be on his channel. The updates will be on mine. Yeah, but I can't think of anything else to tell them. They're just going to have to watch and see how it turns out. But, see, yeah. I can be... We can clean the catfish on the on the on uh, the front porch and cook them. We can throw the um yeah the, the fish cooker right there the on the front, fryer. so we can we can be dressing them on the front porch and uh, cooking them on the other side. I mean, it's going to be nice. Yeah. This Generator is, running the whole thing. Yeah, this is the social distancing. See, we don't have to be around people. We just yeah. you know we've got four or five people that we're going to be noodling with, and and we'll have four or five beds in this thing, and uh, all we need's a 
a cooler to keep everything cooled down and that air conditioner back there because you can't stand it down here where we at without air conditioning. All right, you can't sleep anyway. You can survive, you just can't get no sleep because you'll be sitting there laying in the bed sweating. Whoo, whoo. That'd yeah. be rough. That'd be rough. I think we, we're thinking what a... Weren't we already social distancing before it was a thing? Yes. Yes. We, yeah, we live no social yeah. distancing 24-7. Yeah. Pretty much. That's true. We way back Michael, here. hello from the hills of Tennessee. Hey from South Alabama in the sand. Because yeah. all we got here is sand. Yeah, but we're a mile off a dirt road right here where we're at. In the middle of nowhere. Well, we got phone service. Oh, New Zealand. Somebody from New Zealand. Hey, we that was beautiful. We were there we love last last night. year at this time. We were in yep, New Zealand. We were right there last year this time. Yep. Beautiful place. North and South Island. Which one do you like better? Both. I did too. Both. North Island was green, and the South Island was jagged. I mean, beautiful. ice glacier. Yeah, it was. It was steeper. You know, rougher terrain. They're, they they were too terrain. different to like say, you know, compare them much. Yeah, they were just place, they were both so. beautiful. Yeah. The whole place was just beautiful. Yeah, we had a ball over there, sure did. Yeah, we did. But we about to get started. Yeah, we got to get started, folks. Get y'all something to look at. Yep. Hope y'all have a good one. Yep. And hey, appreciate the support. And uh, I did say something about the comments. It's hard to. It's hard to keep up with There's all no the comments. Way. There's no way for me to do it. And I appreciate y'all's, you know, your uh, patience with that right there. And, and don't yeah. take it to heart because there's no way that I can sit there and answer and like and thumbs but up. But we do and, try to read them. Yeah, I'm it's trying to. It's just the to. whole time thing. I just don't, you know, you get in at night and you're tired and you sit down and you look through it and you go, you know, there's 400 comments on this one. I thought, whoo. But we really, really, really do appreciate everybody's support. No doubt. Yep. We're fixing to get at it, Hannah. We got to get off this. We got to get to work. We got to show them something. We got to at least get something done today. So yeah, we and we got to get it done for the rain too. So yeah, it's supposed to rain tonight and get cold again or cool off. Be in the 40s at night again. Mm. It's just we we want to go noodling. Hannah's you know Hannah's fired up about that, and I am too. But we can't go noodling because uh, you know the temperature keeps going up and down, up and down. It'll get good, and the, you'll think the catfish fixing start going in the holes, and then uh. It'll drop down in the 40s at night and 60s during the day, and it drops the temperature back down, and the poor old catfish, they don't know what to do, and we don't either because, you know, you got wetsuits on and everything else trying to stay warm enough to, to be in the water. And let me tell you something, folks. 60-something degree water without a wetsuit and then getting into a boat and 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 traveling and, you know, get that wind and all. Whew. It's cold. Who is it's cold. I mean, cold. cold. You can't get warmed up. I started to burn some of them catfish boxes on the front of the boat the other day and see if we couldn't warm up downwind from them because it was cold. Yep. But pretty soon we'll be complaining about the heat, though, you know, because that's just human nature. You're going to be complaining about something. But anyway. For those of y'all asking how old he is, he's 49. Yeah, I'm old. You ain't old. I'm old. But no, hey, but I feel good. Feel good, wide open, ready to go. But we about to get started. Hey, and I appreciate everybody. Y'all take care. Appreciate y'all.